Good day traders. I've got another trade site tip on finding high probability setups in a gap and go market. My name is Mark Lykos. We start with playing in the direction of the gap and go. Money can be made on reversals but the lowest risk plays will always be in the overall directional bias. Today's market saw a gap up and go so the high probability play was on the long side of the morning session. In this pursuit, we stick to sector leaders. Our analysis tells us that sector leaders will move more frequently than not with the broad market bias. The three current market moving sectors I track are the semiconductors, biotechs, and banking. Today, the semiconductor index, the SOX, gapped up and continued its upside bias. It was the strongest of the big three key sectors we track. Therefore, I went to that sector leadership in those stocks and found Broadcom, BRCM, had gapped up along with the overall market and the key sector. It was pulling back while the market remained strong. Just the type of price action I look for in this situation. A pullback play in a gap and go market. Here's a screenshot of the current market moving sectors I track on a single 15 minute chart. Illustrated this way, it makes it very easy to see if any leadership sector has gapped and what direction it's currently going. Here you could see the gap up in the SOX showing the strongest percentage gain with a strong continued upside run that was an indication to start looking for the pullback setups in the SOX index. We found one in Broadcom. Here's the five minute Broadcom chart showing the initial gap and go and subsequent run up to the early high at 34.43, a gain of over 30 cents from the opening price before it started to pull back. We set our buy stop just over that early session high, 34.43, at 34.45 in the event the market continued higher as the market was indicating. Here's the same chart of Broadcom showing the break and run over that early session high running up to the 3483 level before pulling back along with the overall market and the SOX sector. Plenty of movement to grab a healthy profit and safely exit when the move exhausted and reversed out of that morning strength. Guys, if you're getting chopped up in the gap and go markets, stick to the highest probability setups. They're going to be found in the current strongest leadership sectors in gap up and go days and in the weakest leadership sectors in the gap down and go days. We see and call trades like this frequently in the lab in both the gap up and gap down days. Don't let the gap up and uh, go days pass you by now that you have an approach. I'll share more productive educational shorts with you soon. Until then, good trading.